Welcome back to another Google AdMob tutorial. Today, I'll be taking you through Adaptive Anchor Banners, a banner type designed to be an upgrade from both standard and smart banners. Firstly, we will discuss what Adaptive Anchor Banners are and how they are different from standard and smart banners. Next, we'll talk about why Adaptive Anchor Banners may be a better choice for your app than your current banners. Afterwards, we'll go over some guidelines that you should follow if you choose to implement Adaptive Anchor Banners. And finally, we'll answer some frequently asked questions that developers have asked us about Adaptive Anchor Banners. To explain why Adaptive Anchor Banners should be implemented in your apps, we need to discuss the standard banners and smart banners that are currently available in the marketplace. Standard banners are uncustomizable and available only in a 320x50 size. Smart banners aim to dynamically fill screen width on any device, but they also have a fixed height. So while they do help, they frequently return ads that are too small in height. Adaptive anchor banners have the same mission as smart banners, to show bigger, better banners without custom code for each device. However, they're able to do the job more effectively. Whereas smart banners never change height and aim to fill width, adaptive anchor banners ask developers how much width is safe and then choose the best possible banner size based on the device's width and height. Visually, this is how the three different type of banner ads could look like on a mobile device. As you can see, the adaptive anchor banners fills more screen than the other two banners. So why are adaptive anchor banners better for your apps than standard and smart banners? Adaptive anchor banners are designed to automatically serve the best banner size across all devices or screens. This offers several advantages. Firstly, it allows you to handle device fragmentation without writing excessive code. The Adaptive Anchor Banner API automatically returns a perfectly sized ad, so you don't have to write separate code for each device or screen size you wish to serve ads on. Secondly, Adaptive Anchor Banners fill screen space more effectively, oftentimes resulting in larger, clearer creatives. In essence, Adaptive Anchor Banners are designed to be the next generation of banner ads. They can help you maximize revenue while making managing your ads less complex and more efficient. There are four key guidelines for optimal adaptive anchor banner implementation. First, specify the full available safe area width for each implementation. Note that when specifying width, we recommend that you set the device width dynamically so that each banner will try and fill the entire width of the screen. Second, Developers using either AdMob Mediation or Google Demand Only for banner placements are eligible for adaptive anchor banners. Developers using Mediation need to ensure that their Mediation adapters are updated to the latest versions. Third, make sure to center your ads horizontally. Fourth, make sure to reload ads upon their device's orientation change using the relevant width of device in portrait or landscape modes. Before we move on, we would like to mention a quick disclaimer. In rare cases, a smaller creative may actually perform better, depending on the device. In such scenarios, adaptive anchor banners may end up showing a smaller creative centered in the available space. To accommodate for these exceptions, we recommend that you don't make the white space around your banners transparent. This is to ensure that your banners don't run into overlapping issues. Next, we'll like to go over some implementation guidelines to keep in mind with adaptive anchor banners. When using adaptive anchor banners, you should know the width of the view that the ad will be placed in, and this should take into account the device's width and any safe areas or notches available. In most cases, full screen width can be used. Google Mobile Ads SDK returns an optimized ad height for the given width in GAD ad size. For Android, it's ad size. The size returned for a given width on a given device will always be the same. Hence, once you have tested your layout on a given device, you can be sure that the ad size will not change. The anchored banner height is never larger than 15% of the device's height and never smaller than 50 points. Now that you know what adaptive anchor banners are, let's move on to some common questions we've heard about this format. Question 1. Will open bidding be available for adaptive anchor banners? Yes, adaptive anchor banners are available for open bidding in AdMob. Question 2. Will adaptive anchor banners require an SDK update? Yes. To use adaptive banners, make sure you're using an updated version of the SDK. For Android, it's version 18.3.0 or higher. For iOS, it's version 7.52.0 or higher. 
If you are using mediation, all mediation adapters must be updated to their latest versions. Question 3. Do adaptive anchor banners stretch or crop creatives? No, adaptive anchor banners do not stretch or crop creatives. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching this Google AdMob tutorial and we hope you found it useful. Before you jump off, we have more resources to share with you to make your adaptive anchor banners experience with us the best possible one. You can find many resources such as our AdMob Help Center and developer's guides on adaptive anchor banners below in the video description. And one last thing, be sure to subscribe to the Google AdMob channel for more best practices and tips on how you can grow your app further. Thank <laughs> you.